Hi, I'm Elga Valovirta, and on this one, I'm gonna check if hand-wired Honorable Marshall Plexi can do metal. Well, like you heard, this is a very short video. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's talk a bit about this. My previous video, I, I checked out this amp and I used a standard E2 guitar with passive Seymour Duncan, basic, you know, pickups. And I played rock and roll, so the amp amplified rock and roll. I have the exact same settings than on that previous video link in the description below. I haven't changed anything, I just played metal. So the settings are exactly the same. I have it pretty much cranked and the, and the signal chain is... Uh, today I have one of my signature ESPs with EMG 57 and 66 pickups. These are kind of like 81, 85 but they're more wind, like PAF like that and you know it's very much feels and sounds like a PAF to me, but it's just active, so it's a little bit punchier. Then the signal goes to my pedal board. Uh, the only thing I had on on the song was bus super overdrive and ISP decimator to get rid of the hiss. Then it goes to the KHE amp switcher, which actually turned the bad boy on. And, this. and then two different amps, back to KHE and then sound truck, react IR, reactive load, where I have my Trust the old Valo Virtuos impulse response from Jens Bugre. And link in the description, it's my affiliate link, so use that and you'll get a discount. Fantastic IRs. And then it goes to the, the signal goes to audio interface, which is a Steinberg UR816C. And then I'm recording this Cubase. Probably you can see a little bit picture there, there's the green line, which is recording. Now, okay, so yeah, I mean, uh, Plexi is, like you heard, it's, it's not your, you know, standard, general, safe sound, but it's, well, it sounds like a Plexi, you know. So, I, my favorite amp, all-time favorite amps, JZM800 Plexi. This isn't mine, uh, thanks to Musics for letting me borrow this. I have, it's out of the picture, but I have a 50 watt version of this, which, which works great, because this is insanely loud. So the reactive load is basically begging for mercy when I play with this. But so yeah, so it's it sounds with SD like this.
And yeah, the tuning, it's a bit ridiculous. It's standard B and A string is dropped another step, so it's drop A. <laughs> this is the tuning that we use on some songs with Syra. And without the SD, now it's without. So, you know, playing metal, you kind of need, need to push it a little bit with overdrive. But I do that with every amp, with, with 15 or 50. I mean, I usually have the gain around 2, which is pretty similar to what I have here now. And then I just push it over with overdrive. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, just for a comparison, I'm gonna use the, the guitar that I used on the other video. And, you know, if I play rock and roll... It's like it is, like I said. You create the sound with your hands, your guitar, the way you play. Overdrive, overdrives it a bit before it hits the amp, and then the amp amplifies that. So. Let's add a bit of chorus. Chorus off. Without SD. Plexi can do anything. Let's compare now while we're at it how it differs from to 800 because 800 as you probably know is an evolution of Plexi you know added master volume section this uses the the first half or the the other half of the first pre and tube for gain 800 uses the the full first pre and tube for gain so there's a little bit more so Let's check out the, the bad, uh, bad boys. Let's play it. As you hear, the bad boy is extremely loud when I'm compared it to other amp. This is like even <laughs> louder, it's ridiculous. So. As you hear, the 800 is a bit more modern, even, I mean, that's from 84, that's still considered like old timers, and <laughs> I guess compared to some newer stuff, it has a, like a deeper sound, but it's just modern, more modern. And let's check out the Jack Wildhead, which is basically a 2203X, but with 6550 power amp tube. <laughs> So you hear the 
because there's no master will, which everything goes through like full blast to the power amp section, the power to some begging for mercy, you get all kinds of, you know, in my opinion, cool stuff randomly happening. Hopefully this answered the question. Can Plexi do metal? Yeah, it can do everything. Thanks for watching. If you like, thumbs up, subscribe. In other drill, there's more to come, so stay tuned. Take care. Bye.